Air is a fascinating substance that plays a crucial role in sustaining life on Earth. Despite its vital importance, there is often confusion about whether air is a compound or a mixture, which is what we're going to discuss in this quick video. To clarify, air is a mixture, not a compound. Understanding the distinction between these two classifications of matter is essential to grasp the nature of air. A compound is a substance formed when two or more elements chemically combine in a fixed ratio. The resulting compound has properties distinct from its constituent elements, and these elements cannot be separated by physical means. For instance, water or H2O is a compound made of hydrogen and oxygen in a specific ratio, and its properties are different from those of hydrogen and oxygen gases. In contrast, a mixture consists of two or more substances that are physically combined but not chemically bonded. The components of a mixture retain their individual properties and can be separated by physical means such as filtration, distillation, or evaporation. Mixtures can either be homogeneous or heterogeneous. A homogeneous mixture has a uniform composition throughout, while a heterogeneous mixture does not. Air is a homogeneous mixture, primarily composed of approximately 78% nitrogen and about 21% oxygen, with small amounts of other gases such as argon, carbon dioxide, neon, helium, methane, krypton, and hydrogen. Water vapor is also a variable component of air depending on the humidity levels. These gases are not chemically bonded but are intermixed in a way that each gas retains its individual properties. For example, Oxygen in the air is still the same molecule that supports combustion and respiration, while nitrogen remains inert under normal conditions. One of the key characteristics of air that underscores its nature as a mixture is the variability of its composition. The proportion of gases in the air can change depending on factors such as altitude, location, and environmental conditions. For instance, the concentration of water vapor in the air can vary significantly between a humid tropical rainforest and a dry desert. Similarly, human activities can alter the levels of certain gases, such as the increase in carbon dioxide due to industrial emissions. The fact that the components of air can be separated by physical processes further reinforces its classification as a mixture. Techniques like fractional distillation can isolate the different gases in the air based on their boiling points. This process is commonly used in industrial settings to produce pure nitrogen, oxygen, and other gases from the air. So, as we have established, air is a mixture rather than a compound. Its components are physically combined in variable proportions, retaining their distinct properties, and capable of being separated by physical methods. Understanding air as a mixture helps us appreciate its complexity and the dynamic interactions that sustain life on our planet. If you want to support the channel, please like and subscribe, I would greatly appreciate it. And there should be some other helpful videos popping up on your screen right about now that I think you will enjoy. And just a quick reminder, we are not doctors, this video is for informational purposes only. Thank you so much for watching, have a blessed day, and as always, breathe easy my friend.